West Berlin in 1970. Berlin 3 University was badly affected by the student protests the year before. Slogans on the walls, facilities vandalized. The former troublemakers will not be charged, thanks to an amnesty for those who committed offenses during the protests. We want to offer a new start to everyone who was involved, including those who lost their way in the heat of the moment. However, not everyone wants a new start. Three left-wing lawyers, Horst Mahler, Hans Christian Ströbele and Klaus Eschen. Their socialist lawyer collective defends students and activists. An exciting time for 30-year-old Klaus Eschen. In our office, everyone was paid the same. So the typists earned as much as the lawyers. Or should I say, we earned as little as the typists. His colleague Horst Mahler is defending the department store arsonist Andreas Bader. Left-wing radical Bader has been serving time in West Berlin since April 1970. He receives a high-profile visitor. Journalist Ulrike Meinhof claims to be planning to write a book with Bader. Mala arranges a meeting for them outside the prison to discuss the project. He and Ulrike are, in fact, preparing to free Bada. According to initial reports, the kidnappers fired tear gas through the open door of the institute, pushed staff aside, and then used firearms to free Bada. The RAF, Red Army Fraction, is born and Bada is free. Ulrike Meinhof goes underground with them. Even the lawyer Horst Mahler has changed sides. I was surprised and stunned and angry. I didn't understand it. The group flies from East Berlin's Schönefeld airport to Beirut with fake passports. East German border officials spot the forged documents, but do not intervene, aiding the RAF's escape. A month later, the terrorists of the Red Army Fraction returned to Germany. Transit buses coming from Schönefeld Airport cross over into the west through berlin waltersdorf virtually unchecked. This enables Bada, Meinhof and company, who are now trained for guerrilla warfare, to slip back into the country unnoticed. It is also a favorite route for drugs couriers, a discovery by West Berlin customs officials, hashish hidden under mothballs. The 29th of September 1970, the RAF carry out a surprise attack, a triple coup. Armed and masked, they rob three banks in the city simultaneously. The criminal investigation department found a paper shopping bag containing coats, jackets and masks made out of bobble hats. Former lawyer Horst Mahler is arrested. The other RAF members flee to West Germany. In 1970, the threat of terror becomes an international concern. After several plane hijackings in the Middle East, passengers at Tempelhof must undergo thorough checks. I think they should do more than they have up to now and thoroughly screen each passenger. The police know very well who's a suspect and who isn't. <laughs> 